Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we will discuss drill rapper Lil Durk's recent arrest for murder and the impact of gangster rap on society. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we bring you real life stories every week. Stay till the end for commentary by DJ. Grammy winning rapper Lil Durk, real name Dirk Banks, was arrested on October 25th, 2024 in Broward County, Florida on charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire. According to reports, the arrest comes as part of a federal investigation into a murder for hire plot targeting rival rapper Quando Rondo. The alleged plot dates back to November 2020 when a person identified as DB was fatally shot at an Atlanta nightclub. Prosecutors claim that an associate of Quando Rondo, identified as co-conspirator one, declared in coded language that they would pay a bounty to anyone who killed Quando Rondo for his role in DB's murder. Five members of Lil Durk's hip hop collective, Only the Family, OTF, were arrested in Los Angeles in August 2022, accused of attempting to murder Quando Rondo. The suspects were identified as Kayvon London Grant, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay, and Asa Houston. They were charged with conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire resulting in death, and using firearms and a machine gun in furtherance of a violent crime. Lil Dirk was arrested on the same day as his associates, allegedly for his role in planning and facilitating the murder for hire plot. According to reports, he had booked a private jet to Italy and was scheduled to depart when he was apprehended. The exact nature of his involvement is unclear, but authorities claim that he was aware of and participated in the plot. Lil Durk is being held without bond and is expected to appear in court. His associates, who were also arrested, face federal charges and potential life sentences if convicted. The case highlights the dark and violent underbelly of the hip-hop world, where rivalries and beefs can escalate into deadly conflicts. Here is my take on this subject. Gangster rap can negatively influence society by glamorizing violence, drug use, and criminal behavior, which may desensitize listeners to the consequences of these actions. Lyrics and imagery often glorify aggression and materialism, which encourage a focus on external validation over personal development. This genre can also reinforce harmful stereotypes, particularly about black and urban communities, leading to bias and discrimination. Additionally, the normalization of toxic masculinity and disrespect toward women in some lyrics can contribute to societal issues around gender equality and domestic violence. Hey everyone, DJ here, and I want to talk a little bit about this topic of uh, gangster rap and its effects on society in general. Gangster rap has been around for a, a long time, and it has never been good for anyone besides the artists who are singing it because they make money off of it. I would challenge anyone to tell me what positive thing has come out of gangster rap. So there are a lot of gangster rappers, a lot of them in Chicago and in New York, and they have a subgenre called drill, and it's all about killing each other, basically. And these gangster rappers influence teenagers a lot. So a lot of teenagers and adults listen to this type of music. It's very popular. I don't know why, but it's popular. because. If you listen to the lyrics of a lot of this music, it's all about finding the ops, which is the opponent, and killing them, and they're describing how they kill them, and they're talking about guns and, and murder, drug use, and being a drug dealer, a whole bunch of nonsense. Kids are addicted to this type of music. So I'm in New Jersey, and I rent out a space. Last two summers, I had people come over to rent the space and I can hear the music that they play. And I'm telling you, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's all gangster rap, all of it. If they're there for an hour, two hours, three hours, the entire time, it's gangster rap. Oh, it's uh, Sexy Red, which is the female rapper. And all she promotes is, um, you know, selling your body and over-sexualizing yourself and being naked and twerking. And this kind of stuff degrades society. I like all type of music. I love all type of music. Music is one of the, the things that I love the most. And um, I've never been a fan of music that promotes violence against anyone. So I like rap music. I like music that makes you want to dance and sing along and promote positivity. Um, music like um, This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. And many other songs that just nice party songs, you know, that make you want to just chill and dance. 
So Lil Durk is one of the biggest gangster rappers out right now. And he's out of Chicago. And he was just arrested for a murder for hire plot. Him and his crew were trying to to kill another rapper called Quando Rando. And apparently they got caught and they have evidence and he was arrested and, and his crew was arrested. Now a lot of these gangster rappers are in gangs and I will also challenge anybody to tell me what positive thing has ever come out of gangs. And gangs influence the youths of today, teenagers and all that. There's nothing good coming out of a gang. They promote the same thing, violence, um, drug use, um, drug dealing and they just degrade society. I don't know why the government don't do a better job of clamping down on this type of behavior. In America, everyone has rights. So even people who sell drugs and in gangs and stuff, they have certain rights. You can't just go and line them up and pick them up and put them in jail. But these guys are blatantly breaking the law. I believe that every week they could round up a couple of them just for what they're doing, what they're actually doing and put them in jail. And a lot of them are in, in in gangs, right? And they should be using the RICO law against them to, to get a lot of them in jail pretty easily. I don't think the government is doing enough, law enforcement specifically, to target gangs because they kill each other often. If they realize somebody's in a gang, they should be monitoring exactly what they're doing. And I know some law enforcement does monitor gang activity. I just feel like it's not enough because it's just so many gangs that's out. So many people getting killed so many, I don't really care when I hear a rapper gets killed. And because that person was not doing anything positive for society. And that person was more than likely already killed innocent people um, while trying to promote their own gang activity. So what I really care about is innocent people. Innocent bystanders who get killed when these guys decide to go on a, a drive-by shooting to target someone. I was just watching a case and this guy had beef with another guy and the guy he had beef with was driving in a car with about with four other innocent people he was in the car and they decided to to shoot up the car because there was one guy in there that they didn't like and they missed the guy obviously they killed a 17 year old boy innocent kid he's not in a gang he's not doing anything he's just a normal 17 year old kid and they killed a 16 year old girl and she wasn't involved in any gangs either but this is the problem with, with gangs and, and rappers. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They don't care about anything but making money and promoting violence because that's the lifestyle that they want to live. When you're a gangster in general, whether you're a gangster rapper or, or whatever, and you're living that life, you're either going to end up in jail or you're going to end up dead. But the kids today, they don't see that. They see the music videos, they see the expensive jewelry, they see the expensive cars, and they see the, the taunting in the, in the music, taunting your, your opponent, and um, they see other people getting killed. It seems like they're desensitized to, to murder because of this type of music. Because this music, gangster music and jail music, it's all about killing each other. And if you go to any one of these um, events, urban events, where they play this type of music, these kids are singing it lyric for lyric. They know the lyrics. They know what's being said. And this is what they're vibing to. And remember, kids, their brains are not fully developed yet. They, they're very impressionable. And this music does have an effect on them because it, it makes them desensitized to, to violence, to, to carrying around a gun, to treating women badly. And you see some of, these, some of these cases that we've looked at, a lot of people are asking, how could someone just flip and decide to kill someone. Well, if you're listening to gangster rap, it, it becomes normal. That's all, if that's all you're listening to all day. I remember someone came to rent my spot and he wanted me to create him a playlist, right? Because it's an option that I have. So I asked him to send me the songs and he sent me the songs. Every single song was a gangster rap song. Every one. And I was listening to these songs because I like to discover new stuff. So I want to hear what, what, what this stuff is about. And I'm listening to... Each song, I listen to all the songs, not full length, but I listen to at least the first verse. And let me tell you something. It's the worst type of music you should be listening to. And these kids are listening to this every single day about killing people, sexual violence, drug use, being a drug dealer. I just don't get it. Now I have a son. He is uh, two and a half. And I'm telling you something. He would not be allowed to listen to that music 
at all. As a child, as a teenager, he would not be allowed to listen to that music. Not in my house, now anywhere. I'll, I'll speak to him and I'll tell him why. I'm going to explain to him that this is not the type of stuff that you want to be listening to all the time. We want positive music for our kids. And if it's not, you know, exactly positive, it shouldn't be about killing somebody else. That shouldn't be what's embedded in their minds about killing someone. Why are these kids having guns? Why are they why are they walk around with illegal guns? Please tell me that. Where are they getting that idea from? And gangster rap reinforces negative stereotypes. As black people, we're born disadvantaged. We're the bottom of the barrel. That's the truth. We don't need anything else to, to make us look worse. We don't need violence in the African American community. It makes us look bad on a hold and, um, and it reinforces negative stereotypes and portrayals of urban life, poverty, and racism. So gangs are a real problem. Gangster rap has a negative impact on society and that can have far-reaching consequences for, for everyone, especially the youths of today. We talk about increased crime rates and violence, higher rates of drug use and addiction. What we need is we need music that can promote diverse and positive representation of urban life and African-American culture. We need music that help with education and job opportunities. We need positivity, basically. We need music that fosters the culture of empathy and respect for everyone. That's what we need. We don't need gangster music. That type of music should be banned because for kids that consume this type of music day in, day out, it has a negative impact on their life. And if you're a parent, I beg you, don't let your kids grow up listening to gangster music. There's no positive effect that it could have on them. What we should be promoting is education. That is the biggest thing we need to promote with young kids. Positivity, education, so that they can grow up and they can, they're able to support themselves by having a legitimate job, not being a drug dealer like, like, um, like Jay-Z and all these other rappers who came up selling drugs and turn out to be successful. Some of them would turn out to be successful. Jay-Z is now a billionaire, but remember life is not just about money. Don't sell your soul just for money. Meaning, don't promote gangster rapping and negative things just to get money. Because Jay-Z is one of few who made it. But there are tons of other rappers who promoted violence and drug use and they're six feet under right now. There's a guy called Tupac. I'm sure people listening to this podcast know of Tupac. Probably one of the most famous rappers to ever live. And he was gunned down over violent rap, over gangster rap. There's another guy called Biggie Smalls from Brooklyn, and he was gunned down over gangster rap. If Biggie had continued to sing, you know, One More Chance, you know, that song, if he continued to sing music like that, he would have been alive today. But he want to make songs like Who Shot Here and this gangster stuff against Tupac, and he ended up getting killed. And there's a lot of them. A lot of rappers got killed just because of the type of music that they make. And there's a lot of innocent kids youths and teenagers who have been killed because of gangster rap. They join a gang because of the lifestyle and they end up in prison or dead. And they don't care about, they don't care about human life. That's not important. It's all about showing off money and, and drugs and guns and murder. That's it. This is not what we should have in society. In society, we should be able to live in peace without gangs and people being murdered for no particular reason. So I beg you, I beg you, if you have kids, please monitor what they listen to. I was just watching um, a case of a lady's son got killed. Guy was a rapper and he got killed. And she's crying and she's saying the, her son was a good guy and all that. But in reality, her son was also a gangster rapper. He was also in a gang. And I guarantee you, he, he more than likely already killed someone. This is what they do. They go around just killing each other. One person kills someone from this gang, that person retaliates, kills another person from that gang, and the, the cycle goes on and on and on. So we need to stop this nonsense. We need to wake up collectively and try to help. Now Lil Durk has a song that I actually like, and the song is called All My Life, and it goes like this. All my life, they've been trying to keep me down, they've been trying to keep me down. And the song has positive lyrics throughout the song. Nice beat. This is the kind of music 
that little Dirk should be making. This is the kind of lifestyle he should be living. Instead, he decide 99.9% .9 of his music is about killing and violence and drugs. And that's why he's arrested right now. And he's more than likely going to get convicted. And he's going to be in jail. What I don't understand is that a lot of these rappers, when they get to that level as little Dirk, they have millions and millions and millions of money in the bank. Why don't they get out? Why don't they quit? Take that money, invest it in real estate, invest it, and leave that game. Leave the hood. Why do they take their money to form even more gangs, promote even more violence, literally planning to kill other people? I just don't understand it. If you got the money, the means to get out of that lifestyle, you get out. If you look at Jay-Z, he got out of it. He used to sell drugs. He don't sell drugs anymore. He invested his money in, in different things. And now he's a billionaire. No, I'm not looking at Jay-Z as a role model. You know, the way he lived his life wasn't good. And I wouldn't encourage anybody to follow his path. But what I'm saying is that at least once he made enough money, he was able to invest that money and get out of that lifestyle. If we want to have a better future for our kids, we have to make a change collectively. If you see your son with an illegal gun, tell him, get rid of that. Tell him that's not allowed in your house. Tell him, don't bring it in your house. A lot of parents, they only cry and, and, and say something, speak out against it when, when the kid is killed. The first time he comes in that house with his pants below his buttocks, you should tell him, listen, do not wear your pants like that. Stop following prisoners and gangsters and stuff like that. That's not the people you should be looking up to. That's not the people you should be emulating. When you see them listening to gangster rap, yeah, you got to stop it. At least stop it in your presence. Promote education. A lot of parents have failed their kids. Totally failed their kids. They have done nothing to stop them from the trajectory that they're going into. The negative trajectory that they're going into. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.